You go on ahead, hero. The upper crust and I don't mix well. Can I help you? Say, where are you from? You got an odd look about you. There's nothing here about any plans. Nothing here. Sorry, can't let you in without verification. Contact Sam Jenkins next door at Signals. He'll help you. What happened? You can't turn around every time you hit a roadblock. I'll try a little distraction. Hi. Ooh, is that a real gun? I just love a man who'll show me his weapon. <laughs>
Don't look at me. You're the city's new champion. Hello, may I help you? I'm sorry, but Mr. Jenkins has asked not to be disturbed for the rest of the day. Would you like to leave him a message? I don't care what answer you'll take. If you don't leave right now, I'll have security escort you out. Hello, may I help you? It's probably about lunchtime. Did you have an appointment with Mr. Jenkins? No thanks, I'm dieting. Besides, Mr. Jenkins is in a meeting all day and can't be disturbed. Nice try, Mr. Gray, but I can assure you the meeting is not about your business, whatever that may be. Good day. Hello, may I help you? Tell me about it, the air conditioning's out, and the maintenance guy refuses to fix it. Leon is such a jerk. It's been this way for days now. Oh, would you? I'd do anything to get some relief. Mr. Jenkins is very busy. Maybe when I cool off, I'll be persuaded to get you in. He's probably sitting on his butt down in the mechanical room. It's through that door to the right. You can't miss him. He looks just like his name. Buddy, reception's upstairs. Sweet little skirt named Wanda. She'll take care of you. Make it quick. My favorite show's on in a minute.
air conditioning. Oh, uh, I'll get on that later today. Tomorrow for sure. You just have to know what motivates scum like that. It's obvious that you don't have the right equipment. Hello. I'm looking for Leon. Uh, that's me. Yeah. I'm Leon. Mmm. You're even more handsome up close, Leon. I just had to finally meet the sexiest man I've ever seen. The sexiest? Oh, yes. And I was so impressed to find out what you did here. I just love a man who can handle his tools. <laughs> tools? Yeah, that's what I do. I fix things. Ooh, it gives me chills when you talk that way, Leon. I want to see you fix something before you work on me. Is there something you need to repair? Maybe the air conditioning? Ah, it's fixed already. Did it days ago. It's just I turned it off on account of one that wouldn't go out with me. I had tickets to wrestling and everything. I can't believe any woman could say no to you, Leon. And I love wrestling. <laughs> I have to go, Leon. But I want to turn it on. Will you let me? Yeah, it's easy. All you do is flip the switch. It's that red one there on the wall. Oh, Leon. I want to do the same to you right now. I want to flip your switch. Don't look at me. You're the city's new champion. You're a lifesaver. The air feels terrific. I convinced Mr. Jenkins to see you, and he'll give you five minutes. It was my pleasure. Getting so close to that slime Leon gave me a headache. I'll wait out here while you talk with Jenkins. Be the guy from the city with the fur on his head. Okay. You got five minutes. Damn. in the wacko building this thing. Nothing's getting done. You'll have to go talk to my boss, Miss Shoto, up on the 99th floor of that chain. 
I don't know who he is, but he's an eccentric SOB. More than a few times he screwed up my construction schedule with the installation of his special equipment. Hell, I don't know. Top secret type stuff. From Incarnate Technologies. Some division. They wouldn't even let my men near the site. I had to lay off the crews for an entire week. And then they demanded the top floors be finished first. How the hell should I know? I just do what I'm told. Did you need anything else? Damn right I do. Especially with you type up pencil pushers from City Hall screwing up my schedules. Waving your authority around like you're some god to get dark I've had it with all of you. Did you need anything else? your meeting with Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins doesn't like anyone much, least of all to the employees. Excuse me. Hello? Yes, Miss Shadow. I'll be right up. How did you get in here? Ah, yes. 
Am I to understand that you're the city's next dark share? I had no quarrels with Doc Shear. What can I do for you? My responsibility is to construct the building according to precise plans. Whatever the owner does with his building is his business. I don't know. The financing comes from several sources. I don't ask questions as long as the money continues to flow. No, I won't. Now please excuse me, I have work to do. How did you get in? What about it? Yes, it does, if that's all I have work to do. How... What... It is my understanding that the architect intended the buildings taught to transcend the cloud layer, that it might be exposed to sunlight. Now, please excuse me, I have work to do. Because the building transcends the cloud layer, exposing it to sunlight. Now please excuse me. What a... My responsibility... I'm afraid that some would be on my purview. As I stated before, the owner may do so as he pleases. Now excuse me, I have work to do. How did you... I guessed as much. How did you circumvent the access code? Ah, yes. Am I to understand that you're the city's next dark share? What about it? It is my understanding that the architect intended the buildings taught to transcend the cloud layer, that it might be exposed to sunlight. Now please excuse me, I have work to do. He was just here. He was better than we thought. There's no loitering here. Say, a dark shear suit. Never thought I'd see that outfit again. A real shame, isn't it? One day they're pumping out state-of-the-art technology, 
and the next it's gone in so much smoke. About a week ago, the really odd thing is, is nobody can figure out how it happened. A team of specialists practically lived here for three days straight. They went over everything with a fine-tooth comb, but they came up empty. I need to be on about my rounds. Anything else? I'm not sure who was over that division, but I hear that the general manager, Jim Drake, you know, that's Martha Drake's boy, has been spending his nights over at a bar named the Neon News. You might ask him. Yeah, I'm sure. He signs my paycheck. Now you move along. wants to know off this building do you mean the pile of charcoal briquettes do you want anything else my ice is melting so would I incarnate was a new division of Dynatech still under development with a team of five people under Dr. Nunio Schwartz. Their one and only project was for the new Sunspire Tower. The fire specialists determined that the fire started in their wing, but every member from the Incarnate team is missing. I mean, just disappeared. Do you want anything else? My ice is melting. I look like I'm wearing a badge. All I know is my building, my job, my future burned to the ground a week ago. Now leave me alone. Do you want anything else?
What do you need now? I've got much better things to do. Ah, mutation. One of my favorite words. You know, not anybody can mutate plants. That's what makes me special. Look around you. No one but I could have created so impressive an army. Before you can control their cells, you must first break their spirit. I have to go now. I have a date with a hat. Do you enjoy the opera? Tonight I'll be shivering to hell called next. Rather entertaining story. I do wish you could make it. <laughs> Hey, rookie. Shadow Lair belongs to you now. It's your call, hero.
Do you want anything else? What else can I do for you? Looking for a party? So, what do you think, Hanson? The name's Evelyn, honey. Not that that matters. For the right price? I'll answer to anything. Honey, what could be more important than scoring with me tonight? First, show me the color of your money. If that's all you've got, forget it. That wouldn't get you a back rub. Don't look at me. You're the city's new champion. of a volunteer from the audience. Stiletto dear, thank you for volunteering. <laughs> How dependably predictable you are. Shall we dance then? Darkshire made a mistake not killing a bitch like you at the amusement park. It's time I corrected that. My, Stiletto, what a wicked tongue. But then, you never were one for tactful phrasing, were you? Ah, oh, my dear Darkshire, I'm so pleased you could attend tonight's performance. It would seem that I have need of your services. I require the lens from the telescope at the observatory. In exchange, I am generously offering the lives of my audience, and of course, sweet stiletto. <laughs> oh, Darkshire, it's simply none of your business. You're only concerned with the 
shivering and you'll free your companion and these good people. Oh, I wouldn't worry about her hair. I'm sure she bleaches it. the assistance of a volunteer from the audience. Stiletto dear, thank you for volunteering. <laughs> How dependably predictable you are. Shall we dance then? Darkshire made a mistake not killing a bitch like you at the amusement park. It's time I corrected that. My stiletto, what a wicked tongue. But then, you never were one for tactful phrasing, were you? Ah, oh, my dear Darkshire, I'm so pleased you could have... Don't worry about her. If anything, there's only slight brain damage. I'm sure you'll never know the difference. I promise to keep an eye on her while you retrieve the lens. Don't be stubborn. I'm sure you'd hate to see this happen to your partner. Worry about her hair? I'm sure she needs to. of a volunteer from the audience. Stiletto dear, thank you for volunteering. <laughs> How dependably predictable you are. Shall we dance then? Darkshire made a mistake not killing a bitch like you at the amusement park. It's time I corrected that. My stiletto, what a wicked tongue. But then, you never were one for tactful phrasing, were you? 